Desiree and Matt are a fun-loving couple who prove oh opposites attract. <laughs> Matt tends to be shy when he doesn't know you. Desiree is um, very outgoing, lots of energy. <laughs> Can you please hurry up? I'm ready and you're not. What's wrong? You're a turtle. Really busy. You could help. Just got to put my shoes on. Oh my god, are you kidding? Matt and I met five years ago. At the time, I had a boyfriend, but turns out he swept me off my feet. Once I realized she was it, I went in for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of a wedding ring do you want? Gold and diamonds. A couple years ago, I fake proposed with the candy mm -hmm. ring. It didn't go over too Hilarious. well. <laughs> Hilarious joke, by the way. But uh, this time, I put the real engagement ring into the candy wrapper. More than candy, fortunately. <laughs> Good boy. Matt and Desiree live at Matt's mom's it? house. Could I have a little bit more peanut butter, please? Content and taken sure. care of, Matt's happy to stay put. I'd love to see you taking more of an interest in this wedding. I'm stressing about my dress and the food. As long as there's food and drink, I'm happy. So much to get organized. The reason we're getting married now is because we're moving into our home so soon, soon, which we're very excited about. I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her, so there's no putting off the inevitable. Romantic. <laughs> Romance or not, there won't be a wedding without Gina's professional help. Desiree and Matt are getting married, and I'm here to help them. But there are a few details that they don't know about just yet. I'm here to make your wedding day dreams come true. We'd appreciate the help, <laughs> definitely. There is one condition, though. You need to hand over complete control of your wedding. The place, theme, venue, the menu, to one of your mothers. But not every detail. Like, I can pick my dress and maybe the colors and that sort of thing just to make sure. Even dress. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Serious. Oh. Oh, boy. Which mother? Well, you'll get to choose. OK. Are you prepared to do this? Let's give it a go. So I guess, I guess we could work with it, maybe. <laughs> so let's go get married. Yay. All right. <laughs> Desiree, I don't think really had a grasp on giving total control to the moms and what it meant. Matt seems pretty easy breezy. It's definitely going to be a struggle. Bring on the moms. Desiree's mom, Lorette, is all about appearances, fashion, and design. She likes to be in control, and she's not shy about sharing her opinion with her only daughter, Desiree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of a type A personality, or so I've been told. I like looking classically elegant so that when you go into a store, people ask you if you would like some help instead of ignoring you. Lorette's very much the person who's in charge. I can apparently be somewhat intimidating. She opened her arms to me. Uh, from the first time we met. The first time he showed up, he brought a gift. He didn't speak, and every time since then, for about three years, he would bring gifts, but he wouldn't speak. My mom, Lorette, is a phenomenal lady. We've got a big Christmas party coming up for the parenting class. She's organized. I like things to be neat and orderly. I like everything to be color-coded. I have all the pillows in order. My closet, all the grays are in one area and the reds are in the other. I like the cleanness of it. She's who I would like to be in a number of years with a few minor tweaks. <laughs> Matt's mom, Anne, is all for country home cooking and cozy family comfort. I have a special snack for you. I am very casual. That's me, because I know that if I'm going to have my grandchildren and children around to have fun at my place, that's the way I need to be. Anne is a free spirit. I've been married a long time. Got married when I was 12. <laughs> No, I've been married for 40 years. There's no common ground between these moms. We're completely different. Anne's style, I would say, is more country, cozy, comfortable. Lorette is more into the city life. In her house, you could just come in and put your feet up on the couch and, you know, it's, it's all good, dogs and animals. It's small children, if they drop things on the floor, that's okay. Fishy kiss? Mm -hmm. It's been great having Desiree and Matthew live here. She looks really pretty. Anne loves it because she's bonding. I'm getting to know her really well. <laughs> I'm and so excited. She's like a daughter to me. 
I'm not so crazy about it. I miss having Des around. These families have very different views on the big day. Something that's a bit out of the ordinary. Very traditional. Lights and sparkle. Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Very sophisticated, chic. Jackie Onassis. <laughs> she overthinks every, every aspect of design. Dark, earthy tones. <laughs> Simple, elegance, chic. Maybe some candied apples, beaver tails. It would be absolutely dramatic if Matt and Desiree came into the wedding on two horses. Oops. Does Matt even know what he wants? Main course, beef, chicken, um, salad, dessert. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you have two days to put together your vision of what you would love your children's wedding day to be. One mom's idea will be chosen. Um, this should be interesting. The losing mom will have to help the winning mom with planning out the entire wedding. Wow. OK. OK. <laughs> I was having a hard time digesting it all. You're doing everything. So you would even be responsible for picking my dress, planning the I guest list. I didn't do that for my own wedding. Well, this is, this is it. This okay, is what you have to do. Visit, yep. This will be a real test. I am not a good follower. I'm also a pretty determined person. So we're all on board? I'm good with it. For sure. OK. So may the best mom win. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever Desiree and Matt decide on, they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives. And the whole idea of assisting doesn't work for me. I'm a born leader. I'm a Leo. <sighs> See me roar. Lorette, soon we will be in-laws. But until then, it's in-law wedding wars. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. No, 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 no. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, my mom's very detail-oriented. I'm worried that she won't focus on the bigger picture um, and get caught up in all of these nitty-gritty details that will overwhelm her. Dark chocolate milk chocolate, and then sort of a cappuccino kind of color. You told me that those are good for weddings, right? They're popular for weddings. They're very classy as well. If Anne were to plan the wedding, I can picture things that maybe are outdated. <laughs> Love that. Dazzling. Maybe things that wouldn't be my choice. Two kissing doves for the bride and groom. I love these candied apples. They're such a dark, brilliant red. Gina will present the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other so will lose. Awesome. I really appreciate it. She's the person that worries about the dress and everything. I'm just there to have a good time. Ready or not, it's time for the moms to show their stuff. How are you? Put all these oh boy. glittery things down. <laughs> I'm just going to throw some things on the table until I get a little organized here. OK. What's your vision here? Black and white wedding. OK. Very dramatic. With crimson red as an accent color and with some nature. Bring it to life like a winter wonderland. Can we move your, uh, your yeah. binder there? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. 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 Sure. Oh, OK. <laughs> wow. This is a full-blown concept work. This is fantastic. Lots of sparkle. Chocolate, sort of Jackie Kennedy. The idea that chocolate is very regal. Some fudge. Classy. Some candied apples. Beaver tails. Something that's tasty and lovely and just like love itself. This is the cake. You're thinking cupcakes and then just one token cake that they could Right, one on token them. cake. I love that. It's different. Have chocolate bars that have Matt and Desiree's names on them. OK. When they're lit up, they are, like, glorious. Spectacular. Some natural lighting, but a lot of sparkle. The wedding dress. The black ribbon accentuates her waist. It'll complement her figure. So like a white chocolate? Yep, white chocolate. Oh, these are fantastic. Long, tall ones in the vases with some roses and those sparkles in them. You're thinking like high centerpieces. High. Rather than have a lot of flowers that interrupt conversation, you just have a nice flickering candle that sets the ambiance for that sort of classy affair. The Pièce de résistance. I want pearls, like, draped everywhere. This kind of is the whole wedding, right? Diamonds are tacky. Too glittery, not the classy, elegant look that we're going for. The glittery, razzle-dazzle ball. So, disco ball. 
with all of this, my head is sort of spinning. We have tons to work with. Let me put together the perfect presentation for Desiree and Matt, and hopefully they'll love it too. Lots of luck. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I think I might just win this. I don't know if Desiree and Matt are gonna go for either of these pitches. Both visions need refining. I've got my work cut out for me. There's no competition, basically, between the two of us. It's, it's over. Lorette has to worry about the razzle-dazzle in me. I'm still picking glitter off of everything. <laughs> it's time for Desiree and Matt to judge their mom's hard work. Nervous? Very nervous. It's a big thing. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. They're looking a little worried. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. My goodness, we're in trouble. <laughs> are you ready to see what one of your weddings could be? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, wow. Jump. So much to take in. Very sparkly. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> hey, really. <laughs> I know I'm a little country, but that's, that's kind of crazy. Oh. Hey? Candy apples on hay. Nice, that's classy. So the theme for this wedding is winter wonderland in the country. Mm. Country elegance. Sparkles are, are wonderful. What? In a barn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it a chance, Dizzle. Give it a chance. I like the colors. Very festive, very warm. Definitely like that. Yeah. Good. Hot chocolate. Candy apples as favors. They're something you don't see at every wedding, so it's different, and I like that. Good, Matt. Rather than a traditional wedding cake, cupcakes. How about Sue, the cutest ring bearer ever? Why not? If you have hay, you might as well have a dog. Now, your gown is very classic, very elegant, definitely some sort of black sash. I do like the dramatic black sash idea, but I was never in the market for something with sequins or bling at the top. I'm open to the black sash. Great. I love the overall vibe that I'm getting from this. How about we take a look at the next presentation? Definitely. Wow. <laughs> Very different. It's like night and day. <laughs> totally different. So it is a absolute chocolate themed wedding. Fit for Jackie O. Don't like that idea at all. A little more contemporary, but definitely classic. The color scheme would be shades of chocolate. So the history of chocolate explained in cards that would be on the dinner tables. We're sure it's not chocolate overkill. <laughs> what? Never too much chocolate. We have a really pretty low arrangement filled with candles, so bringing a lot of warmth to the space. The candles are, are pretty subdued. Uh, I would prefer something more dramatic. Oh. These we thought were great rather than a guest book. Polished stones. People could actually sign their names on them. That's could, neat. And your wedding gown. Strapless, elegant. A good bit of work here. Embroidery, um, some detail, lots and lots of detail actually. But definitely cinched in, strapless, with an A-line sort of ball gown silhouette. That sounds great too. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> this would be more or less a traditional wedding cake. The colors, I'm not too sure about. No, 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 it's fantastic. Well, it sounds like you guys have a lot to discuss. We do. I'll leave you for a few minutes. When I get back, you'll give me your decision. OK. All right. I'll try. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Lorette and Anne are cut off while Desiree and Matt decide which of their moms will be the wedding winner. OK, so I hope we find out soon. They're both great in their own ways. Um, I don't know what we're going to decide. I have to get past the purple and brown. I definitely like the cupcake idea. Me too. The sparkle is really fitting for the season too. I feel confident. Okay. Once we've made our decision, who's gonna break the news to our moms? You have a way with words that will both make them feel comforted <laughs> in 
whoever's we don't choose. I don't want to hurt anybody, and I think you should mm. just recognize that it's my special day. <laughs> the bride has all the do tough decisions. <laughs> the hard work. It's all on you. Period. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> Okay, guys, deep breath. <laughs> it's time. We're okay with that. We've made our decision, and it wasn't easy, but we're firm on our decision. Okay, guys, don't tell me. Okay. Tell your moms. <laughs> oh, no. This is gonna be hard. So, Desiree and Matt, what you don't know is that your moms have been backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. We did. I'm sorry for anything hurtful that we said. It's OK. I'm going to leave you guys to tell them who you decided on. OK. All right. Come on. I'm going to let Matt take this one. <laughs> we really do like them both. There's certain aspects of each that are not our favorites, as you are well aware. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> um, so after some talking. Lots of back and forth. Mm -hmm. We have decided to go with Lorette's plan. You are <laughs> kidding. This is the biggest thing since sliced bread. I couldn't be any more excited about planning for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Don't cry. We love you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't cry. I am pretty shocked. To be really honest with you, I am. It's OK. Though, you know, you have to go with punches, right? And we still want you to be a big <laughs> part of the wedding. OK. Matthew, oh. give me <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Don't cry, OK? A uh, little bit upset. Breaking the news to my mom was hard. I had an awful feeling in my stomach, and I was just thinking, I'm about to marry into this family, and I don't want Matt's mom to hate me for the rest of my life. I mean, that's beautiful, right? It's quite unusual. A little busy. But we need you to be on board, because this is what our wedding's going to look like. Right. Lorette, congratulations. Thank you. You both did a magnificent job, but you're to be Lorette's assistant throughout the wedding planning process. Yes. I hope that you can work together. We're good with this, right? You are. We're oh, good with it. I'm thinking good. about it. I'm not a pushover at all. If I don't like an idea, she's going to hear about it. <laughs> what, 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 what? You, you want me to be your assistant? That would I do. Please be a little nicer. Loretta is pretty good. driven, pretty assertive, um, and she likes the idea that she's now going to be in charge. It's her daughter's wedding, but Anne, um, she's got a strong way about her, and uh, I think she's going to give her a run for her money. With less than a week till the big day, it's time to tackle Desiree's biggest desire, the dress. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. And That's whatever enough. decision it's Lorette makes, enough. Desiree is going to have to live with. Out. Out. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Oh, this is the one. <gasps> this is the one. Uh, no, that'll make her, no. No, 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 Because no, no, no. the waist? we have the same figure, and that would be... That's what you think? You have the same figure as well, Desiree? Well, she's taller, but... I think I should get a choice here. What about this? I don't know, though. It might be I too like much. I like that one. We'll keep that one in mind. And give There's it a so try, Lorette. You have from. to be a little bit more open. Desiree is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. Oh, yeah. It's all on her mom, Lorette. Look at that. Oh, as it comes down the aisle, that's fantastic. Very princess. It doesn't seem like something that would be me. You're, an, it, you're not you. It's your wedding day, for heaven's sakes. You're, you're a princess for a day. I'd like to try another. I'm not feeling it. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I think it's a little flowery around it's parts hard. of it. Teeny tiny little waist, and the way it all, it's very regal. It really is. I'm glad you have me here to assist you because you need a little bit of like mm. some honesty here. Give it to me. What's the honesty? I hate it. And I think the sooner you get that off, the better. Ouch. This is ridiculous. Like I'm fuming. Ooh, that's the one I picked. Quite beautiful. No. No, it's like almost like a mini skirt. Well, it's just I tried. Barmaidy. 
We don't do bling. Bling is not our thing. Your mom's in charge. Welcome to my life. <laughs> well, that is pretty. No. Thoughts? I think it's too high. Absolutely sensational. I don't know who to trust. It's not a oh. wedding dress. Oh, the back smashing on you. It's all good. It's all good. A little too much. It seems a bit ridiculous that I tried on like 20 dresses. I'm exhausted and I'm frustrated and I'm just annoyed and I don't even know if it's gonna work out. Fantastic, yeah. It's pretty plain. Haven't we figured it out already, ladies? Hey, no, 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 I've got it. I've made my decision. I'm good. Okay, that's it. You don't have to try on any more. All right, or are we not gonna chat about this? Obviously, it doesn't seem really important what I have to say. I am trying hard to be your assistant. Do it your thing and I think I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay, well, I do need your help with other things. I just wanted to wait outside because I needed to take a breather. My mom, I just am worried that she'll buy something that would suit her, but not me. I don't want to look like my mom. Bottom line is, bride's mother, mother knows best. With the big day looming, the moms dip into Lorette's inspiration for the chocolate-covered wedding. Come on this way. And I really, really need your help here. This has a, like a phenomenal selection. Because of the, the huge variety of them, I couldn't possibly discern between one or the other, you know, the ambiance, the aroma. Chocolate's chocolate. It's this delicious. This is not chocolate. This is, this is Nirvana. Just have a bite of that one. Oh, this one's made mm. with some wine. <gasps> Mango. If you would try that one. Do I have to try this one too? Of course. She wasn't very responsive. She wanted to help. Come on, help. I want you to try this one here. <laughs> Give me a moment, girl. Uh, you're not driving, right? Right now, <laughs> no, today? No, I'm not okay, driving, Lorette. These are filled with whiskey and passion fruit. Think with you, I need the whiskey. Uh, this was a wonderful opportunity for her to have some fun and we could hopefully bond. Don't you uh, think we've tried enough, Lorette? Lorette, it's chocolate. No, no, it's not. It's Everyone the likes... It's the center core, it's the theme, it's everything about the whole thing, it's it's pivotal. With Lorette, I've had more chocolate stuffed down my throat in this short time here than I've had for the last year. I'm certainly not gonna eat all these chocolates. I've got a dress to get into. Lorette wants her vision to be seen through to the letter. We're just gonna go down here for an outfit for you. It'll be- For me? For you. I think I can dress myself. Let's go. Let's do Lorette's thing. Okay, so there might be something here that will be perfect ah, to help with my yes, vision. Yes, red! That's the reduced to clear rack. We're not going there. Over here, these are all the chocolates, which is sort of in keeping with what it is that I'm trying to do. Just um, um, have a little look at this, okay? Now, this is just the top, red. of course. I know you're little, but red. there is a I skirt said that goes I don't goes want with. sleeveless. No, there's a jacket. I have, I've thought of everything. It's all good. Not to worry. Here we go. So, Anne, come on out. I want to see it. Um, do you have it on yet? Yes, I have it okay, on. Okay, come on. You've got to be kidding me. No, no, just no. What are you wearing for the wedding? She wants to, like, really upstage me. Just let me look like myself. I do not want to wear this dress. It needs to just be, look at how beautiful. Lorette, I'm trying That's to cooperate. Sweet. That's what I said I'd do, but I don't like this dress. And I would really like it if you'd let me wear what kind of, I would like to wear it to my son's wedding. Because you're getting to wear what you want to wear to but your wedding. But it's my vision. Wedding. It's my vision. But what, there's supposed to be a little bit of give and take here. Come on. I That's do great. not want to wear this. Give Are you really bit. thinking I'm going to wear this? You have to give a little bit. Well, I've had enough. I've had enough. This oh, and you're not. What am I going to do? This isn't working. This isn't Get working. This you're not dress cooperating. Off me. I want it for both of our children. You can't just like show up in some, I don't know, red dress or something, it would be appalling. It would look so de class A. There's no way I'm going to go to a wedding looking like that. There's absolutely no way. I don't know how we're gonna fix it. Gina can be very persuasive. I think I'm gonna ask her to kind of, you know, give me a hand. Gina arrives just in time to try to keep the peace. The moms are at an impasse. If I can't get Lorette to hand over some control and give Anne some of her vision back, this wedding is not gonna happen. I'm not angry, I am upset. I don't understand why she's not cooperating with anything. She doesn't like my ideas. She's very stubborn. I'm so frustrated. I just don't know what to do with her anymore. Well, she's upset. Mm -hmm. So why don't you ease up on picking her out the dress that you want her to wear? 
But what if she wears something atrocious? Just let her wear it. She knows what the color palette is. She knows how to dress. But the pictures, they're for a lifetime. Fashion sense, I have it. She doesn't. Give her the dress. Let it go. <sighs> all right, all right. It's, I came to you for advice, so okay, thanks. And there's one more thing. Oh, boy. I think that you should give Anne just a little bit of her fun, fresh winter wonderland theme in your wedding. Give her control of, let's say, the dessert table. But that's not small. That's important. It's going to be out at the end of the night. You're going to have your vision completely, completely done throughout the evening. Candy apples. Candy apples. Beaver That's, tails, there's, there's hot chocolate. Beaver tails. <laughs> this is so wrong. No, I don't know about that. That's so déclassé. Candy apples at a wedding? We'll make it fresh. We'll make it posh. We'll make it chic. <sighs> OK. Let's bring Anne in. Hi, Anne. Have a seat. Lorette happened to get here a little early. And we had a chat, and we came up, I think, with something that you're going to be really happy with. You guys came up with something you thought I'd be happy with? Well, actually, Anne, I think you're going to find that it's a good thing. First off, you get to pick and wear whatever you want on the wedding day. Now, oh, that sounds fantastic. Well, Lorette doesn't look too happy with that, but I'm excited. Thank you. And something else, right? You get to have full control of the dessert table at the wedding. Really? Yes. I'm on board. Yep. You get the dessert, you get a dress. All right, enough of this. Let's get busy. Let's get to work. Go plan a wedding. This way, girl. Now Anne's holding the reins, and she's okay. taking Lorette for a spin around the local okay. farmer's market. You don't want beaver tails? I think it sounds oh. so awful. Well, so I'm bad. willing. Beaver tails. Here, have a beaver tail. I'm willing to give a bit for I you. Know, I know, so I know. Got some more things to show you that I'm interested in for the dessert table. Okay. Um, uh, I'm all ears. Yes. Well, I think what we should do is go to the candied apple table. So we're going to put the apple in and spin it and make the candy apples. So okay. you just go across. Ooh, that looks back. great. Back, it's a little thick there. And try to give it a little spin. That's really hot. On the tray. I think get, that looks a little dangerous, Anne. Get it down low. Across, cover the apple, spin, Ooh. spin. Ooh, what a show off. Put it down. I don't. Lorette, it's a Why an are apple we doing this anyhow? Don't you just go and buy table. these kind of things? Let's go. Lorette, look enthusiastic. This is for your daughter's wedding. Um, Put her on the tray. Don't look. Down, yeah. get down. Yeah, don't, we go. You don't want to burn yourself. Yep. Look at this. Uh, Lorette. It's called I told candied the, apple. It's sorry, I do something thing. else for a living, OK? This, this is, is fun. disgusting. Yep, that's good. Voila. OK, get it all covered. You're crazy. Right. Look at that. There's only a tiny bit of the apple top showing. You know what? I like the apple top showing, because then people will know that it's real food, as opposed to candy. Great I don't job, know how this qualifies as dessert, and Okay, let's go. A couple more dozen to go, at least. Are you joking? <laughs> I am not joking. Candy apples. I mean, seriously. If I had any idea that this is how I was going to be spending my time, I would have, I don't know, put on a little country ensemble like Anne was wearing. I want to check in with Desiree and Matt. With so much going on, I hope they're not getting cold feet. So, how are you guys feeling? I'm stressed about everything. I'm I'm really freaking out. I can't believe I'm not going to know what my own wedding dress looks like. It's actually pretty outrageous. I've sort of always dreamed of being able to choose something that was so beautiful. And, and now that control's been given to the mums, I have nightmares about it every night. Do you have any concern? My main concern would be with my mom. The days that she comes home from being with Lorette, she's a little stressed out. We kind of had a breakthrough. Um, we were able to give your mom a little bit of control as far as the wedding goes. And they both know how you want to look and feel on your wedding day. They are not going to steer you wrong. So stop stressing out. Well, be ready for the 3 AM phone call then. <laughs> <laughs> so hang in there. OK. While the bride and groom-to-be lay low, Gina rallies the troops for a wedding rehearsal. 
Desiree will be right here and Matt will be right here. Well, I'll have you next. Yep. And then my next gentleman right here. And tomorrow, girls, you'll be holding your bouquets. My flower girls will be right in this line. Perfect. Good job, guys. I think we're ready to have a wedding. Very nice. Yeah, that was good. It's good. All right, that went well, huh? Oh, yeah, I, I'm just a little nervous. Nervous, sure. The yeah. mother of the bride. Well, yeah, yeah. There's so many people, you know, haven't seen them in a long time, especially, you know, Des's dad. And yeah, it's been a really long time. How long? About 20 years. Yeah. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's a tough day. Girl, let's get you a cocktail. Come on. Oh, yeah. Or three. There's no time for Lorette to dwell. She needs to put on a brave face for the wedding rehearsal party. Excuse me, can I get everyone's attention? So thank you so much to all of you for being here and making um, our wedding day perfect. Well, we think it might be well, perfect. We're not And there we're hoping yet. it will be. I'm freaking out a little bit. I have no idea what the decor is gonna look like. I wouldn't be surprised if Anne's dessert table didn't match the decor at all. Lorette is going to be blown away by the dessert table. I'm so tired. I just don't even have it in me. And what's a piece of all of it? And it's like not gelling with my vision, that's for sure. I think things are definitely going to clash. And most importantly, my dress might be hideous. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. And the makeup better be fabulous, because I'm going to have crazy bags under my eyes and just be exhausted. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know what's going to happen, but I'm hoping that everyone understands that I haven't planned anything and this is just coming. You should just call the whole thing off. After five years, Desiree and Matt are to be married today. Everything has to be perfect. Lorette's not leaving anything to chance. Hi. <coughs> hey, how are you? Good. Uh, so, it's not too much done yet, eh? Well, I mean, we just got in. Okay. Um, which we're used to, don't worry. Okay. So, and sweet table, uh -huh. we're going to put right here. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have it here because this is where everybody enters and that would be the first thing they see. Can we put it like, is there a closeted area or something behind like a, I don't know, like some of these drapes or something? A closet. Okay, uh, whatever, uh, but at least at the other side of the room where the majority of our guests will not be able to see. Okay, it. okay, we'll move some of these tables down and we'll have the dessert oh, awesome. section over Thank there. Thank you, that's wonderful. Thank you, thanks Gina. Your centerpieces uh -huh. are not here yet. What? Uh, th it, that's okay, that's not the problem. Uh, they, There's a problem? Well, they called me and the shade of purple that they have is... The eggplant. It, it's not eggplant. But it has to be eggplant. Everything's eggplant. It's it's tough just because it's the dead of winter. They're having a, a problem getting a color that they that... They fly flowers in from all over the world. It's a little bit of a problem right now. They're sending some lighter problem. shades. We, ha we have to have the eggplant. That's the accent color. We have to have it. Okay. So you're not okay with just adding in a little more ivory or a little more of the lighter? No, okay. no, 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 we have to. That's key to the vision. Purples are, are royalty, they're elegant, they're, that's imp so important. It's what you want, we have to get it, I will work on it. It's situations like this that drive me absolutely crazy. No matter how many weddings I plan, there are always last minute fires to put out. But it's 24 hours before the wedding, it's crunch time. I need to see Des in the dress. Lorette leaves Gina to find the perfect shade of flowers and arrives at Anne's house to deliver Desiree's dress. Okay, thanks. Okay, you ready? Down low. Really? Cross yes, really? Spin, You're really ready? Okay, spin. on the count of three. One, two, three. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. It's such a nice fit. Isn't it beautiful? Look at you. It's absolutely perfect. It's like it was made for you. Look at all the beautiful little details. It's beautiful. You couldn't look more magnificent. Everything is just, it just so perfectly complements you. Everything's perfect. You look great. I never ever expected to have such a beautiful dress. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. She looks beautiful. And thank you, it's, Anne, too, it's for... It's really beautiful, and it suits you. It's beautiful. It's not quite what I've chosen, but 
Mine would have been totally different, and how this looks on you is fantastic. I really wanted it to be dramatic, but still elegant, and I think you did a really great job doing that, Of course Mom. it's elegant, and it's beautiful on you. You look amazing, like a princess. I hope it all comes together later today. Oh, it will. Don't worry. Everything's under control. Can I just have a little chat with Des sure. for a sec? Certainly. See you. Call me when you want me back. Okay, okay? thanks. Thanks. See you, Anne. See you. Come on over here for a sec, honey. Okay. Okay, um, we haven't had a chance to talk. I need to sort of know what this story is about walking down the aisle. Who's going to walk you down the aisle? Well, you, of course. Good. <laughs> but also dad. Your dad. My dad, at the same time. Is that gonna be okay? Is okay. that gonna be okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Of course, it's your day. Okay. It's whatever you want. If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. It's your wedding day. I can't believe it. Mm. I'll get ready. Yeah, let's. Wedding to go Come on. to. Let's go. Table over there, which is going to be great to have. I'd really appreciate it. It's the day of the wedding, and Anne is scrambling to finish here, her winter wonderland dessert table. Oh my. Wouldn't want to ruin the effect of yeah. the cake. No one will ever notice. <laughs> Gina. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Go. Eggplant. Oh, uh, this, wonderful. Is this eggplant That is for eggplant. You? Okay, that good. is magnificent. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What's up? How are you? The only thing I'm still kind of like, not, I'm not freaking, but like, have you seen Anne? Did you see what she's wearing? Her wedding attire? You don't know that. No, I do okay. not know. You want to have a seat? Okay, just for, yeah. Yeah, so. Doing okay? Yeah, no, I'm just kind of, my head's just kind of, I just was talking to Des and, um, yeah, she's, I thought I was walking her down the aisle, and now it turns out it's uh, not just me. She's going to have her dad and myself walk her down the aisle. Oh. Yeah. OK. Just like, I'm just trying to get my head around it, basically. Yeah, so. Because it just wasn't sort of how I, you know, envisioned it or, but yeah, this is what we're doing. I, I understand it's tough. I can't imagine. OK, thank you. But we're going to get you Thanks. through it. Thanks. Go get changed. OK. Ready or not, it's time for the wedding. I hope I can get this wedding underway without any more problems. Loretta is going to be seeing her ex-husband for the first time in 20 years. I have no idea what Anne's wearing. The whole thing could fall apart at the last minute. Lorette's put a smile on her face and is ready to share the aisle with her ex-husband. Here comes Lorette, but she's walking with her own husband. And Desiree's dad walks down the aisle with his wife. There's been a last minute upset, and now, no sign of the bride. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. 
I pronounce that they be man and wife together according to God's holy ordinance. It was a huge success. Matt was really, really happy, which was great to see. Desiree looked absolutely beautiful. Lorette got her entire theme. It was chocolate extravaganza. I'm gonna ask everyone to stand, please, while we welcome the bride and groom. was going to be walking Desiree down the aisle and then we realized it was a very small church and she had a very large dress so at the very last minute we had to decide that we would be up at the front and she would come down on her own. I was so proud of the fact that she did that. She was very brave. I'm I thrilled. Couldn't be happier to be married to her. When I first saw her in the wedding dress I was absolutely stunned and I couldn't imagine the wedding being any better than it was. She's the most beautiful person in the world. When I first saw my mom's decor, I was really, really impressed, and I think she did an amazing job. I couldn't have planned a more beautiful wedding myself. Even though it's not my vision. Because <laughs> everything is beautiful. Give it up, girl. It's elegant. It's over now. It's elegant, and there really aren't enough words to say how I feel right now. And really excels when it comes to really delicious sweets and my god did she do a good job you give Anne one thing to have control over and she goes a little crazy but the crowd really loved it so no harm done the cupcake was great and I can't wait to eat more I'm gonna have cupcakes I'm gonna have chocolate covered pretzels I'm gonna have candy apples I think we put her in charge <laughs> of the right thing mm. I was so concerned about what Anne was going to wear. I was genuinely congratulatory with the elegance of her ensemble. I thought she looked amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah, I know. We're, We're happy. We the should do this happy. for a living. <laughs> There were quite a few in-law wedding wars, but at the end of the day, I think everybody sort of came together again, and that was great to see. So a successful wedding all the way around. I would like to take this opportunity to, again, thank our fabulous mothers. Ladies, you look beautiful tonight, and, and we owe this entire occasion to all of your hard work, and you put your whole heart into it, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. We're feeling the love. <laughs> feeling the love. It's all good. We bonded. Cheers to this fabulous Cheers. dessert table. Cheers. Cheers to a great wedding. Yeah. A gorgeous, fantastic couple. Ashley and Andrew are all kisses and love. We've been together for six years. Ashley is loving, caring. She mm -hmm. wants to be snuggled. She's wonderful with everything. What I love about Andrew is he's very sweet, even though he doesn't show it. <laughs> You want some couscous? No. I can make some garlic bread? No. Oh, God. Did you want to make me some chicken? <laughs> yes, I'll make you some chicken. Of course. <laughs> we met at a friend's house. I didn't like him. Thought he was really rude and offensive. <laughs> Second time we met, and she couldn't resist me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot different than the first time. <laughs> Loved her ever since. <laughs> but they can't seem to actually make it down the aisle. Been engaged for three years, and we've postponed the wedding three times. First time, we had to move. Second time was the baby. And the third time was when I was about six months pregnant, my brother passed away, so we postponed it for that as well. I wanted both my brothers to walk me down the aisle, <laughs> but I just really miss him. Wedding planning is getting stale the fourth time around. This wedding stuff, I'm still pretty concerned. <sighs> it's been really hard to plan the wedding because Andrew's really busy. He's working two jobs. So when he comes home, he's very tired. I don't really get much of a chance between cooking and cleaning and taking care of Cade. Hey, watch your claws. You have a 24-hour job. She's the greatest mom in the world. I gotta get ready for work. Here you go, go see mama. This busy couple needs professional help to make sure they actually get down the aisle. I'm here to meet with Ashley and Andrew. They'll have to agree to my terms if they want this wedding to happen. This will be your dream come true. We've postponed it enough times, so it'll be good to finally be married. But there is one condition. You have to hand full control of your wedding day, the location, the menu, the decor, to one of your mothers. <laughs> what? We don't have any say at all. You can choose which mother. 
One mom will plan her perfect vision of a wedding day for you. Ouch. They even pick your dress. The dress? The dress. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's great. Less work I have to do. I don't know that I'm OK with that. Come on. No stress. <laughs> you don't have to worry it's about it. It's a matter of opinion, no stress. <laughs> I don't get to pick anything that's stressful. My oh. own dress. Don't you want to be my wife? <laughs> you cannot play that card. <laughs> it's been played. So, Andrew and Ashley, are you on board? I'm on board. I guess I am too. Great. <laughs> well, let's go get you married. Now it's out of their hands, it's in the mom's hands, and we're just gonna have to see what happens. Bring on the moms. Ashley's mom, Kim, loves to shop, decorate, and is always on the go. I am assertive, outgoing, social. Cheers. Tell us more. Tell us more. I am creative. I have an eye for design, and I love color. I like everything in order, and I like things done my way. If you put a vase there, I'll probably pick it up and move it over there. I'm very picky. <laughs> She likes to get her own way. She's a little bit bossy at times. Kim is pushy. She can be kind of a bulldozer. I know how I want things, and I would like people to do it that way. Andrew's mom, Christine, is traditional, crafty, and likes to stick close to home. I like to spend time with my family. <laughs> I like sewing, baking, and spend time taking my dogs for walks. Porky, come on. Good girl. I'm traditional and just like the simple things in life. Mm. They smell good. My mom, she's old-fashioned. Quiet, keeps to herself. I don't like going out much. She's a homebody. I'm pretty laid back, but I do have a temper. My mom's very strong in her beliefs. No, that one's got to go up different. Fine, then. If I put my mind to something and that's what I want, that's what I'm getting. It's the Irish coming out of me. The mothers are not exactly on the same page. Christine and I are very different. We're night and day. Kim is high maintenance. Christine's a little bit more plain and traditional. Kim is very go, go, go busy. Hi, how are you? Tomorrow at 3 o'clock. She's a little bit more country and comfortable, and I'm a bit more modern and sophisticated. But what matters now is the big day. I would like it to be fancy and just a lot of nice decorations. Definitely have some drinks and have a good time. Not too many drinks. <laughs> Apparently not too many drinks. Fire and ice. Fairy tale, princess, old fashioned. Modern. Pastel colors. Jewel tones, things that are nice and bright. Yellow in the mint and some pink in there. Food, I don't want anything plain and simple. I want something elegant. Nothing too fancy. Being a cook, the food is very important. Prime rib would be good. Ashley's dress, I think, would be beautiful. Form-fitting on the top and flowing out. Very elegant, nothing really frilly. This skirt should be nice and round and poofy on the bottom. Nothing poofy. Ashley will look like a princess because that's what every little girl dreams about doing and having for their special day. With all these ideas flying around, Gina gets everyone together to lay down the rules. Here's the challenge. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan their ideal vision of the wedding for the bride and groom. Now, they'll only pick one mother's vision. Oh. <laughs> and here's the hitch. The losing mom has to assist the winning mom with planning the entire wedding day. Oh, my. <laughs> what? Mm. You will be working for me. No, no. <laughs> Try again. How are you feeling about this, Ashley? Very nervous. I would like to still remain one family at the end. I just hope there's going to be a doctor in the house. No bloodshed, hopefully. Keep it a clean fight. So what do you say, gang? Are we on board? <laughs> <laughs> All right. May the best mom win. Thank you. Thank you. The moms seem to be having a little quiet cat fight today already. I think we may have a little problem on our hands. Kim, I'm coming after you, and you're going to be my bitch. Christine, you better bring your game, because I'm going to win, and I'm going to work you hard. Coming up with a wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. 
and whatever vision Ashley and Andrew choose, they're going to have to live with this decision for the rest of their lives. Flowers, bows, glass slippers. Make her feel like a princess for the day. Rich jewel tones, beautiful. What worries me about my mom planning the wedding is it just being completely over the top, flamboyant. Oh, I love peacock feathers. I can do so much with these. Perfect. Good luck, Christine. You're gonna need it. White and pink, princess colors. Christine would more like something very old-fashioned, a little bit drab. Ah, tool, yes. I'm afraid that when she hears me say that, she might take me out. We'll never go back in the package now. I've seen mom's temper. Don't, don't make her mad. Christine and Kim seem to live on two different ends of the spectrum. I have absolutely no idea what I'm about to see. So sit down and tell me. I see like a fairy tale wedding princess, the prince. Sure. My vision, fire and ice. Outside it's cold, inside it's warm. Pastel colors are nice and soft, purples and the soft pinks. They speak volumes with the wedding. Bright, sparkly colors, jewel tones, peacock feathers, emerald green, sapphires. Beautiful. Every princess needs glass slippers. And then we have a little diamond for sparkle. Of course, for tiara, her beautiful tiara. Every girl likes a good crown. Oh, yes. For the fairy tale, it's like a gazebo. We can use this, you know, as inspiration, bringing a trellis into the ballroom. That would be nice. And I found this vase to represent ice. It's like a glacier. Mm-hmm. For the bride's cake top, Ashley pulling Andrew to the altar. Poor guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this would kind of reflect icicles when the candles were on them. OK. And instead of a guest book, a picture of Andrew and Ashley, the guests assigned the matting as a keepsake. And I brought some pictures. I lost my son in December. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time with this today. Oh, take your time. And the closer the wedding gets, the worse it's getting. Sure, that's understandable. She could put a picture in her bouquet. And that would make her feel like her brother was with her. And we'll, we'll make this work. We, we will. Oh, thank you. Now it's my job to edit things, and then we'll put the best possible presentation together for Ashley and Andrew. That will be great. I don't know if Ashley and Andrew are going to like either vision. They both need a lot of refining to sort of kick it up a notch. Kim has to be very afraid. Bring it, Christine. Bring it. Ashley and Andrew prepare to judge their mother's wedding vision. How are you doing, guys? Really nervous. You look a little nervous. I'm well, jittery. <laughs> what the couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. Behind these two screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. Oh man, I hope they're not mad, whoever doesn't get picked. Are you ready to see what your wedding day could be? Definitely ready. Well, let's remove the first screen. Okay. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. This theme is a fairy tale wedding, mm -hmm. a wedding fit for a princess. Yeah. Very, very pastel -y. Lots of pink. They're not looking too impressed. Andrew doesn't do pink. <laughs> Even when they call it salmon, yeah. it's still pink. It's a good thing I love them, because otherwise I could disown them now. <laughs> Rather than a guest oh, book, nice. you would have a sign-in board. That's really cute glass slippers here that we could fill with some mints. Ashley, you would definitely be in a tiara. Okay. And a veil. And a very, very princess-inspired gown. I don't really think of myself as the princess type, so. Oh, you are. Aww. <laughs> are those wings or shoulder pads? Sort of like a shrug, a fur cover. Mm. That would actually be really okay. pretty. We would, of course, honor Adam. He would certainly be part of your day. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be important, definitely. I'm sure. Are you ready to see the next presentation? Definitely. Absolutely. Wow, they're so different. The theme is fire and ice. Bring the warmth inside because it's going to be so cold mm -hmm. outside. The mood, sophisticated, elegant, I'm a little in awe right now. 
Good or? I'm not sure yet. I think that they're gonna pick mine. I love peacock feathers, so that's exciting. Let's see. Ashley, we have your gown. Less poof and just following your silhouette. The bodice would be decorated in crystals. Lots of bling. That would be bodice. beautiful. I don't like the centerpiece. Giant twigs. Wow, those are intense. I'm afraid I would get her to poke an eye out or something. Have to get married wearing an eye patch. <laughs> I don't think Andrew's very impressed with anything. We would have a memoriam set up for Adam with both visions, something that would be very special to you, I know. Mm-hmm, definitely. You guys have a lot to talk about. Big time. I'm going to leave you here, discuss, take a look at things, and when I get back, I'll get your decision. All, All right. right. All right, good luck. Oh, man. Mm. Kim and Christine can no longer eavesdrop while Ashley and Andrew decide whose mom will be the winner. How long are we gonna have to wait? This is almost maybe too much. Very. Yeah. I like the simplicity kind of of the other one. I can't get past this. <laughs> and these, like, why do we need giant gemstones everywhere? They're so different, it's hard to even compare. It's just difficult. I don't know. Fairy tale, gothic. No matter which one you pick, somebody loses. Someone, someone's <laughs> gonna be upset and disown us. I'm really worried it might hurt their feelings or it sucks to say, okay, well, even though you planned all this, we don't want yours. A little nerve wracking. Okay, guys, time to make your decision. Are you ready? There can only be one. That's right. We did make a choice. Hold it right there. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. Ashley and Andrew, what you don't know is that your moms were backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. It's a jerk thing to do. But we heard everything. I'm mm -hmm. sure you did. Now it's time for the two of you to tell your moms who you've decided on. Okay. It's not an easy choice for us to make. It's a very tough decision. In the end, we've decided to take Fire and ice. Yes, yes! I won and I'm so excited. We're sorry, we We're wish sorry. we could pick the bow. The only reason being is the pink. It is. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking. It's okay. It's all good. It doesn't look okay. You <laughs> can okay, only Mom. pick one. It's all good. It's okay. Are you it's sure? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> You did a beautiful job, but there had to be one winner, one assistant. Fire and Ice <laughs> took the cake, and Christine, you are to be Kim's assistant. We have a yeah. ton of planning to do. All right. All right. I'm disappointed that uh, they haven't chosen mine, but it's their day, and they deserve to have the wedding they want. I just feel like she cried. It broke my heart to do that to her. I'm the boss, and I hope Christine can pull it together and do as she's told. There could be some fighting. If these two moms don't get on the same page and don't work together well, we're never gonna have a wedding. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding gown. Ashley has given full control of this over to her mother. If Kim doesn't choose wisely, Ashley's big day will be ruined. Okay. All right. You have to go to the change room, <laughs> and we're gonna pick out some dresses, and we'll meet you there soon. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, Have some faith in good us. Idea. We've been moms a while. I'm looking for some A-line, a little bit of ruching, and lots of sparkle. Princess, Kim, we want princess. Oh, Christine, drop the princess. It's not what I envisioned her in, and that's not what we're getting. This is more what I'm looking for. Yeah, and that's all right if you're uh, out to catch another husband at your own wedding. Mm -hmm. Ashley is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. It's beautiful. No, I don't think so. What do you think, Mom? I love it. We won't let you wear anything gaudy like that. This is awful. It's disconcerting to just stand here blindfolded while someone else picks my dress. <laughs> it's too revealing. No. Yeah. No. I think so. Absolutely not. I know it's got to do with the vision and what I think Ashley wants. 
definitely not. It's not quite right, but I mean, we're heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I find the neckline is a little bit too high. I think the neckline's fine. I think you're a little prudish. I don't think people should be spilling themselves out on their wedding dress. She wants Ashley covered from head to toe. I don't think that's what Andrew wants. And it's certainly not what Ashley wants. I'd like to see you in another one. Oh, that looks beautiful, Ashley. Still not quite the one. No, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous on her. Is it, like, just your opinion that counts? Yeah. What happened? She left. My mom is really opinionated, so I wasn't surprised that she kept just shooting down Christine's opinion. Instead of bringing out the fist, it was better to walk away. I don't care if she's mad at me. I'm the person who would really know what is good for Ashley. Christine's just going to have to suck it up. Wedding planning can't stop for squabbles. Kim insists her assistant Christine stay the course. This is your surprise. We're going to have a mini makeover. Um, no, 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 no. I don't oh, want to do on. this. Come on. It'll be fun. That's Kim's thing. She likes to get all prissied up. That's not me. I thought it'd be a really nice day. We get our makeup done, manicure, pedicure. You're going to love it. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on you. Just look up for me. Christine, you're going to look beautiful. Hmm. Just with that little bit of glam. So I don't look like I belong on the street somewhere. No, 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 okay. no. A little bit of mascara. Lipstick. OK. It looks so much better, Christine. Do you want to take a look? No, Kim, this is not going to happen. Oh. I can't. I can't go like this. It's not... beautiful. No, I'm sorry. Come on, it's, Christine. No, it's not me. Oh, come on. You look great. And I you thank you for the time. You should do your makeup more often. I want her to get spruced up for the wedding, you know, glamorous and classy and... And she just doesn't want to be bothered. It looks beautiful. No, I'm sorry, Kim. It's hurt my feelings that you couldn't even just accept me for who I am. What Kim had done was insulting to me because I don't want to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Oh, no. And I gotta go wash this off now, okay? That's it. Christine! No. Unbelievable. I'm getting really sick of her attitude. She should be thankful that I'm wanting her to look beautiful instead of, like, plain Jane. Kim can screw off. I'm fed up. With only days left for planning, Christine has to put aside hurt feelings for the wedding to move forward. So, Kim, what are we doing here? These guys do catering, and I just want to sample some appetizers for the wedding. Yeah. All right, ladies, to start, we have fritelle di bacala, salted cod Atlantic fritters. Mm -hmm. In addition, I have poliposcoli, which is a Mediterranean octopus. I am not touching that. It's very delicious. Is it now? Mm -hmm. Here you go. It's OK. Oh, you're not even making an attempt it here. It stinks. It smells bad. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, yeah, I do. One no. tiny no. little bite. No. They have a beautiful fritura mista aioli from the Mediterranean. Oh with uh, merluzzo. <laughs> it's looking so at us. <laughs> oh, there's an eyeball there. That's like a live animal on frickin' there. Like, I what is you, with man, that? It's not alive anymore. Inside here, we have a squid ink seafood risotto. Oh, my butters. god. Put the lid back on that. You're really out to kill me, eh? You are being absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I'd absolutely serve this to my ridiculous. dog, never mind anybody at a wedding. Your dog probably has more taste than you do. Yeah. How are you going to be my assistant if you can't even try any of this food? I mean, this is absolutely delicious. You didn't try anything. This food is making me nauseous. She's being a sore loser because her vision wasn't picked. Christine wouldn't even try a thing. What good is that to me? Come on, Christine. You're being a big friggin' baby. You're supposed to be my assistant. I have to keep repeating that to you. You won't try anything at all. No, it's, it's not the food that I would eat, Kim. No. You know, it was my vision, my vision that was picked. I want a nice, elegant affair with good food. She's trying to use the fancy food to impress everybody. It doesn't fool me. This is you being... Miss Prissy and all over the top. Christine, you if just you're want not, a big no, fancy no, wedding you and you're not thinking not of Andrew and Ashley help, at all. Then you might as well go. You're being totally useless to me. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Oh, go. Pisses me off. I hope Kim takes her fancy food and chokes on it or puts it where the sun don't shine because it's not coming to the wedding. She actually needs to do as I tell her to do. 
and I'm getting tired of wasting my breath. I think we're going to have to give Gina a call because this is not working at all. The moms aren't speaking to each other. I have to make sure this wedding happens, even if it means Kim giving up some control. So I heard from Christine, and yes. I know that she's very unhappy. Likewise. And we have so much more to do, and to have her fall out at this point is just really, it's a travesty. Mm-hmm. Things just can't keep going on the way they're going. So let's try and give Christine two tasks that come from her vision. Oh, my. We can give her control of the first dance, a very ballroom style, prince and princess. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't go with the vision. It would help a lot. What do you think? If I have to? Yes, doesn't mean I'm gonna like it. <laughs> There's another thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know that you're a foodie, mm -hmm. and the menu is quite exotic. Mm -hmm. You like quite fancy food. Yes, I do. You can have that for your entrees for the full meal. OK. Could we just put Christine in charge of the hors d'oeuvres? Like, what is she going to pick? <laughs> Hamburgers and french fries? Just a little something more basic, more traditional, that her side of the family and her friends would love. Well. We have to do something to get away from some of the tension that's going on. I would be willing to try. Why don't we bring Christine in? OK. Hi, Christine. How you doing? I'm here. Oh, I'm good. Well, ladies, we're at a standstill. We are. It's not going to work, not the way things are going. Well, Christine, Kim and I have spoken. OK. You're going to have control of two major things. OK. These are tasks that would come directly from your vision. All right. From your princess theme wedding. <laughs> yes. The first thing you're in charge of is the first dance, a ballroom style mm, prince awesome. and princess first dance. They're going to be beautiful. Mm. Your task, you're going to have to teach Andrew and Ashley. Yeah. Second task, you pick the hors d'oeuvres. Oh. Hamburger and french fries. Yeah, yes. probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. At least she won't be bitching about everything if she has something of all right, all to do. All right, I'll up it. Listen, listen, all up it. I'll go cheeseburgers. No. Oh, cheeseburgers. <laughs> Yay. All right, girls, moving on. Could we make this work? All I'll try. Right. I'll try. Let's go plan a wedding. Yeah. Don't get too cozy. Let's go get your dancing shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> I still think this is a huge waste of time. We've got so many things to do to prepare for the wedding. Oh, just and you're relax. You're dragging me here. Just relax, and we're going to have an adventurous afternoon. <sighs> I understand that you would like to learn some dancing today uh, for the upcoming wedding. Some uh, of us do. You, some of us do. Oh, okay. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. Twinkle toes. Woo. I'm going to just put myself between you, okay? Because okay. I, I sense that there's a little bit of... Uh, Animosity? Yeah, that could be it. <laughs> okay. Dancing is like walking, but we're walking to the rhythm of the music. So we're going to begin with our left foot, and we're going to walk forward. One and two and one and two. Walk side together. Good. Would you like to try to lead her in that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't can... think that's going to happen very easily. Now, listen, Kim, you can just suck it up. Okay. Being the boss of Kim today was great. Kim got a taste of her own medicine. Slow and quick, quick. Hold it's on. To go to the side. Yes. And one more time. Walk and walk and side together. And let's take and our turn. Stepping on my feet. Walk, side together. Walk and walk and side together. Very good. Okay, he, we're making some progress. in the shin. <laughs> it was accidentally on purpose. Yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> what can I say? And quick, quick. Again, walk. Keep it going. Whoop, careful. We're faking our turn a little bit. Yeah, there. she just <laughs> okay. kind of swung me well, around. Why don't we come back and try that one more time? <laughs> You're in a ballroom. You don't want to do barnyard dancing. You brought me. She doesn't cooperate with me, but she expects me to cooperate with her. Try that once again. We don't have time for this nonsense. OK, ladies, so it's going to take a little bit more practice, obviously, to get it to work. But I'm sure the kids will enjoy learning these steps that we've worked on today so that they can do a great prince and princess dance at, mm -hmm. the, at the wedding. It's going to be great. This is what I want for Andrew and Ashley. It's going to be beautiful. The princess theme doesn't go with the fire and ice at all. Totally ridiculous. And uh, you I guys can help polish I hope she learned her it. instruction well enough Great. to teach right. them. Christine is supposed to teach them how to do this. She couldn't even do it with me. One last thing with the hands. You want to make sure when you turn out that you create an elegant line and a finish to everything. Ashley and Andrew, they don't know how to ballroom dance. 
they're not going to learn in a short period of time. And they'll just get up there and make fools of themselves. I don't think they're going to be happy about this either. I had a great time. Kim says she didn't, but I could tell by the twinkle in her eye she had a great time too. We have to go. Christine and I have a wedding to plan. We have a lot of things to do. This was just totally ridiculous. Waste of my time. There's been a lot of fighting between the moms. I'm here to check in on Ashley and Andrew. We better not be canceling wedding number four. So you called and I'm here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the problem? You go first. The dress is a big issue right now. It's definitely pretty concerned. When we were trying them on, it was just not good. Listening to the moms argue was really hard. No. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Is it like just your opinion that counts? Yeah. And Christine stormed out, which was obviously pretty upsetting. And I know that has to be the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. So let me work on that. I don't like seeing my mother cry or get upset. Of course, no one wants her to be upset. No. The rules of the game are one wedding planner, one assistant. But I've spoken with both moms. They're trying to get along. It's going to be all right. Hang in. Thanks, Gina. I told them that everything was going to be OK. But in my head, I'm thinking, how am I going to make this right? But there's still more to come. The weather is really, really bad. And we are in disaster mode. The uh, highway is completely shut down. The decorator is still not here. Nothing is going right today. They're counting on me. This is the biggest day of their lives. We need to get this whole room transformed. A snowstorm begins, and Kim battles the weather to arrive at the venue, the Churchill Ballroom. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, Gina. What's going on? It doesn't look like a church in here. No, I know. And I didn't like, want you to nothing, see it. There's nothing in here. But I thought more would be done. Yes, well, the decorator is actually on the highway stuck. Like, we're running out of time. Ladies. Hey, how are you? Oh, you finally made it. Oh, yeah, it's pretty horrendous out there. You're right behind me. Yeah, I got stuck behind a plow. Oh. It's bad out there. Oh, it is. How's the ballroom dancing coming? Oh. oh. Hmm. Not good. I haven't been able to get down to Andrew and Ashley. I'm, this is part on. of your theme. I understand, and you want but to teach the weather. Them how to I, dance. What do you want me to do? A snowshoe? I can't snowshoe. Well, I mean, so you've far. had time. No, I haven't. No, well, then you I, should I have made work. time. It's in the program. It's printed in the program that they're going to have this dance. So I think that that's something that's very necessary. We have 15 minutes at least before the rehearsal starts. Ashley and Andrew are in the hall. Why don't we get out there and why don't we get them rehearsing and doing some sort of ballroom dancing and see if we can get something together. I'm really disappointed in you. Well, it's not the I limbo. I thought you would have had something done with this. The dance, beyond ridiculous. It's awful. Christine is trying to show Ashley and Andrew some steps now, but I mean, at this 11th hour, I don't know if that will even happen. This way to your- Oh, good. Oh, relax. Wow. Deep breath. Come on. I can breathe, Mama. I can't dance. And pivot. I don't get the pivot. You don't get the pivot. Well, I just don't wear my pivoting to. You're like, turning, so you can go in a different direction. Back your way and over. That's See? it? That's it. Well, that, is that, the, that is the lamest dance I've ever seen. And you're like wiggling. Well, I'm One. not wiggling. I'm just stepping. Well, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Three steps back, three steps sideways, back step, pivot. I don't even know what you're doing. Like, there are so many steps. We have 10 okay. minutes. Well, Ashley, this isn't my fault. This is part of Christine's vision, and I just don't think we have time to do this right now. Like, there's so much going on, I can't see this happening. Okay. I think it's better that we just go practice on our own. OK, so it's three steps. Or do you, we'll just do whatever you learned. I don't even All care. All right, so this is, what I I, this is what I was showing. You go back. You go back. Oh, like what are you and doing to me I here? I come back, and then we go like that, and then and I spin you. We learned two completely different dances. That's what dances. I thought I heard going on. We don't know what we're doing. No, you, you got shown a different dance than I got shown. Like, this is We'll I'm... just pick a dance. We'll pick which Mosh dance pit. we like. Sweet. While the bride and groom-to-be keep practicing, Gina leads the wedding rehearsal. Tomorrow, you'll be holding your bouquets, of course, so. That's perfect. Straight down the aisle. Ashley and Andrew will be right in the center then. And Michael will escort Ashley. That gives us plenty of room. Blink arms after the bride and groom come down. And straight out. You got it. Good job, guys. Ashley and Andrew join their guests at the rehearsal party. I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. And hopefully the weather clears up so we'll have a bunch of people here tomorrow. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Gina gets a call. The news is not good. Ashley, I'm so sorry I had to pull you aside. We just got a call from Nikki, your bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. Her flight was canceled. And it doesn't look like she's going to be able to make it tomorrow. What? I can't believe she's going to miss the entire ceremony and everything. It doesn't look good. <sighs> Hopefully, this is the worst of it and everybody else will make it, all right? I hope so. Okay. All right. Thanks, Go ahead. Go back and enjoy yourself, all right? Ashley's really stressed. I wanted this day to be perfect for her. Absolutely perfect. I don't know if it's going to happen. The night before the wedding, uh, it's a snowstorm. I'm a little worried that some of my, mm. our friends and family won't be able to make it. We already me. lost a bridesmaid, so. I'm hoping that a lot of people can make it because it's kind of scary out there. It's supposed to be the happiest day of our lives, but it's turning out to be a giant pile of poo. Even if I pull this together, I don't know if everyone is even going to be able to come. The decorators finally arrive, but now there's only hours to get everything done. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. How many of these do we have? Uh, one. OK, one down. Ten more to go. We need to get this whole room transformed. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. I'm worried. Ashley's with her mother getting ready. She will finally get to see her wedding dress. Ashley, you ready to see your dress? Yes. <laughs> OK, keep your eyes closed. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, my god. Do you like it? It's do you awesome. love it? I actually do love it. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's what you wanted? It's yes. It's A9. It is satin. Yeah. All the beadwork, look at on the sides. Oh, wow. It goes eh? down. It's all gathered. That's beautiful. And then we have some on this side here. Look. Down here with oh, the pretty. gathering. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Isn't that beautiful? That is really nice. Thanks. You look so gorgeous. <laughs> so excited. This is my favorite spot. Yeah, I think that's really the cute. Half bow it's just with a all fun little, yeah, it's a really fun detail. I think you did an awesome job. I'm actually a little surprised. <laughs> I'm excited to see the bouquet. That's gorgeous. It goes with the theme. That's really awesome. I love it. It's girly, but it's cool. Like, it's a good kind of, it's not like frou-frou. It's just really interesting. And I love the flowers in it. That's gorgeous. We have a little special edition mm -hmm. added to memorialize my brother Adam. So Adam can be with you today, too. Hmm, don't be sad. And this way, he can walk down the aisle with you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You okay? Mm-hmm. Do you love it? I love it. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna go get you married. <laughs> the snow has not let up. The wedding starts in five minutes, but none of the guests are here. Hi, Gina. Hey. This is amazing. And I have a surprise for you. Oh, do you? Your ice sculpture. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe you pulled it uh, off. It just got here. I just hope the guests arrive to see all this because it's absolutely spectacular. I'm going to get changed, finish a few things. I'll see Thanks you in a few. Thanks so much. It's I'm, still storming. I know. Out. I'm really getting worried. Yeah. The plows have cleared the roads, and guests finally start to show, an hour late. Good news, girls. Hey. The guests are here. Oh, thank uh, you. That's great. Yeah, you grab that's Ashley. Great. You grab Andrew. I'll grab the minister. Okay. Let's okay, go. Perfect. Let's Thanks. get married. We, as a community of family and friends, are gathered here to witness the marriage of Andrew and Ashley and to celebrate this day with them. Andrew, will you have Ashley to be your wife? I do. Ashley, will you have Andrew to be your husband? I will. Ashley Penrose, you're the only one that truly knows me, and I vow to always be faithful and respectful to you. 
I will always love and cherish you. I am so honored that you are going to be my wife, that we are going to grow old together. Andrew, you're sweet, loving, funny, and a great dad. You're my best friend and proof that first impressions are not to be trusted. You've brought out the best in me as a mother, a friend, and as a person. <laughs> I vow to love you and never take your love for granted, and to continue facing life by your side, whatever gets thrown our way, for as long as we both shall live. With every thought in my mind, with every breath in my lungs, with every beat of my heart, I'm yours. I love you. Just show me up. <laughs> I declare them now to be husband and wife. If you two would like to kiss each other for the first time, you may. They look beautiful, they live together. With the ceremony done, the guests mingle at the cocktail reception. I can't believe we're finally married. <laughs> Forever. I just want to take these damn shoes off, but I love them so much. <laughs> Featuring Christine's choice of appetizers. Oh, oh my kids are here. You're you going don't to really want to eat I do. Look, I'll even have one with you. One bite. One. Go. <laughs> they're great. I have to admit, they're not too bad. <laughs> We're gonna wing this. That's right. We want to thank the moms for putting in so much hard work, saving us a lot of time, a lot of effort, that time we didn't really have with the and baby and everything. And work I didn't want to do. That's exactly. <laughs> I don't think this could have happened without both of you, so we really appreciate it and we love you both. We love you too. <laughs> Cheers to our moms. Some ballroom dancing. That we don't know how to do. That they don't know how to do. And we're going to share them on the whole way while they have fun. The newlyweds try out the newly learned foxtrot for their first dance. We don't know what we're doing. How about if we just go like this? Oh. <laughs> I'm stepping dress. all over your dress. Didn't get a lot of time to practice with them, but even if they have two left feet, it's beautiful. I'm no Broadway dancer, but they, we tried our best. It probably wasn't very good, <laughs> but we don't care. <laughs> it wasn't the best dance of a foxtrot. That was terrible. <laughs> Andrew and Ashley were gorgeous no matter what they did with their feet, so it was great. And we all had fun. And we all had yeah. fun. <laughs> First fire and ice wedding. I think it went really well. Ashley and Andrew seemed thrilled with everything. We had an amazing wedding, for sure. It was awesome. It was amazing. When I first saw Ashley walking up the aisle, I was shocked. It was just so beautiful. <laughs> You're cute. I was happy with the picture of my brother on the bouquet. I felt like it was a tasteful way of memorializing him without making it overshadow the rest of the day. Earlier, we were pretty worried because there weren't really any guests here. Oh, I was concerned about people not showing up and the weather and everything. I probably would have cried. Then everybody just started showing up. It was great. The flowers and the decor came in the 11th hour, so that was super, super stressful. I didn't think Gina was going to be able to pull it off. Last night there was nothing, and this morning it was spectacular. You couldn't ask for anything better. Gina did a beautiful job. Yeah, and it was exactly what I dreamed about. When I first saw the decor, I thought it was amazing. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful and really sparkly and gorgeous, but not super traditional. I was extremely happy that the twigs weren't extremely large, and my friends haven't sword fighted with them yet. The ice sculpture came at the very last minute. I thought it was glass. No, this is the theme, Andrew, the fire and ice. Fire, ice. Yeah. The dinner was delicious. I was excited. The guests seemed to really enjoy it. It really turned out to be a beautiful day. 
And Christine actually went and got her hair done and got her makeup done. Oh, she looked beautiful. Everything's great. Kim and I made up. We're doing good now. We're doing excellent. About time. <laughs> the moms did an amazing job. I'm so I'm happy. Impressed. It all came together, so. And you're married. This is the greatest day we could have ever asked for. Mm -hmm. All in all, a great success. We had a great time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> the fun part begins. <laughs> Kevin and Sandra are the very essence of a dynamic duo in love. She's very hot. That's right. Yes. Super hot. Yes. Keep going. A little too hot for me. <laughs> Initially. So Initially. Have Z's. <laughs> tuck in time. Every night before I go to sleep, he tucks me in. Don't forget my feet. OK. Thanks, honey. She's my little Jewish princess. Perfect. Love you. Me too. I found this incredible gem on web dating website for Jewish people. <laughs> and uh, when I saw her, I was just like, she's the one. That's so sweet. Aw. Your favorite DJ, Sandra, is getting married. And you want to know something? Kevin better be home right now cleaning those dishes. Kevin? I am not the controlling wife type. This is a figment of his imagination. All right. I proposed to Sandra. We were playing rummy cue with her, her grandmother and her dad. I knew that if I put the, the ring inside the chocolate pastry that she couldn't say no because she loves chocolate. She went to take a bite out of it and almost ate the ring in, in the process. <laughs> Kevin and Sandra want to get married, but they have no time to plan the wedding because they're always on the go. I have a computer consulting business. I do work at home. I have my own satellite radio show across Canada and the US, and it's going really great. What's up, you sexy boys? You're listening to The Sandra Z Show. And I'm doing my PhD, so I'm like super busy. Too busy to plan my own wedding. I do not trust Kevin to plan the wedding. In your face. If Kevin planned the wedding, it would be robots and keyboards. Kevin will plan a computer robot wedding. <laughs> Great. Well, no matter how it computes, Sandra and Kevin's nuptials will be nixed without Gina's help. Hi, Sandra. Hi. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my rules. We need somebody to make it happen. We need yes. some help. Totally. But there is one condition. Not a big one on conditions. Yeah. What's the condition? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything the wedding decor, the wedding dress, the menu, to one of your mothers. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah. I need control. Total control. Total control. It's hard for me. I know. You wouldn't be able to control anything, but your wedding day would happen, and fast. Maybe we should just try and go for it. I don't, I don't know what yeah, else to do. Yeah, it's less headache for us. Yeah, and I have no time. Sandra and Kevin, I need your answer now. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. OK. OK. Great. Let's get married. Let's do awesome. it. Okay. Okay. They are totally psyched about this wedding. At first, a little hesitant, but I think they signed on pretty quickly. And I think that we're going to be able to deliver. My mom's got a shot. I think her mom's got a shot. It's, it's a toss up. It's a toss up. Yeah. It really is. Bring on the moms. Let's do this. I love this. Sandra's mom is all about glamour, big fun, and flaunting it all. I'm an older single woman who loves dating, who loves life. I love dancing. I love music. <laughs> it's all about the pleasure and the freedom. This is my kind of dress. My mom is the Hungarian rebel. Vigyázzatok nagyon magatokra, mert férfiak jövök táncolok. She's pretty, you know, headstrong. Aggie, she's scary. I'm a little afraid of her. She's scary? Really? Kevin's mom, Shirley Ann, is all about maintaining tradition and keeping the faith. Being Jewish has a big responsibility and can be a real challenge. My mom goes to synagogue almost every day. All her friends are from synagogue. She pretty much is there when the sun comes up. Dina. Harvey and I have been married almost 50 years. Good Kevin's. job, honey. The big Bible. Oh. Harvey and I are really thrilled that Kevin is marrying somebody in the Jewish faith. Family is the key to Judaism. Family is most important. 
these moms have nothing at all in common. Aggie's a tough customer. Oh, now we're talking. Aggie's nature happens to be more wild, more out there. Totally different lifestyles. I am an outsider. I think things are a little calmer. I am Jewish, and it means a lot to me, but I'm not a practicing Jew. My background is not Hungarian, and I think Hungarians are great, but we're very, very different. So on one hand, I've got my controlling mother, and on the other hand, I've got my mother-in-law-to-be, and on the other side, I have Sandra. So uh, I guess she's in good company. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> With such conflicting opinions, this wedding has two outcomes, muzzled off or called off. Overall, we want it to be like just one big party. <laughs> As a small, intimate wedding. Red carpet, paparazzi. Super grandiose, amaze balls, incredible. I would like to see the wedding happen in a synagogue. I don't want to have it in a synagogue. Imperative that the food is kosher. A lot of cakes, a lot of chocolate, a lot of dessert. Violin, a harp, a flute. Oh, oh. Elegant. Lots of dancing, champagne flowing. What I really would not like to see in the wedding is wild dancing, <laughs> low-cut dresses. Kevin is marrying Sandra, but he's also marrying her boobs. Her boobs have to show. And then there's Kevin's opinion. I think there has to be a, a traditional element. My daughter is like an eagle, and it would be like putting an eagle in a cage. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. So there will only be one winner. Moms, one of you will lose. I like to be the lead dog. I know I'm going to win. I'm going to run the show. Well, may the best mom win. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever decisions Sandra and Kevin make, they're going to have to live with this for the rest of their lives. Shirley Ann, you may stand for tradition and faith, but never underestimate a mother who wants to party. Aggie, you may be a sassy modern mama, but remember, tradition reigns supreme. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. I'm looking for ideas for a Hollywood-style wedding. There is red carpet, like a roll of red carpet. Red carpet! If my mom throws the wedding, I believe it's going to be a big party. <laughs> All right. That is beautiful. If my mom would have it her way, we'd be having the wedding in a synagogue. Yeah, for sure. This is an original. Not necessarily our cup of tea. Love to get this for Sandra. That's very pretty, too. Something beautiful, like the glass what you break under the chupa. Oh, it's a great idea. Wonderful. I want this wedding to be glitzy, glamorous, super Hollywood, and totally out there. Time is getting late, and there's so many things to do. And for the first time, I'm really feeling the pressure. Hi, Gina. It's time for the moms to wow Gina with their chutzpah. OK, Shirley Ann, what is your vision? Jewish, traditional, brunch, synagogue wedding. A glamorous Hollywood party wedding. Where would the ceremony and the reception be? A big warehouse, a modern warehouse. What are these? Hamantaschen. There must be kosher food. OK. It's non-kosher for me. I would love to see a violin. Red carpet, paparazzi. Pose for me, now. There, you go. Candles, we will have. Flame helps bring us closer to the Almighty. Glitter everywhere, all over the tables. OK. I want a big, sweet table. Chocolate and candies in all colors. My daughter is all about sweets. We need to have sesame-crusted salmon. It's out of this world. I like salmon. Beautiful centerpiece, nice gold color. Take a look at this calla lily. And now, is that not beautiful? They are beautiful. Elegant. We have to have a special prayer book to be able to connect with the Almighty. Booze or no booze? We could have wine at a few tables. Oh, oh there you go. L'chaim. <laughs> My favorite is when the groom steps on the glass and everybody else muzzle tough. 
How about your son-in-law? Is he okay with this such a dramatic theme? I think he would do if she wants it. Okay. Well, the next step is to pitch it to the couple. I'm putting my faith in you because this is really the best way to do it. This is a classic case of two very strong moms with two very clear ideas of how they want their kids to be married. Maintaining the traditions, I think it's really important. I do not want my daughter to be stuck at a synagogue for the wedding. I, I don't want to disappoint my mom or Aggie. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Choosing between the two moms is giving our groom a major moral meltdown. I'm torn between my mom wanting a traditional wedding at a synagogue and um, my fiance who wants to have a big party. This is about the wedding again. God bless uh, Jewish women. Uh, they have a reputation at times for being a little forceful. So I really feel for Kevin. He's trapped in this maze. I mean, it's a nightmare. What do you want? I, I think I want a more traditional wedding. I think so, yeah. I think I'm in my mom's camp. What do you think I should do? Come on, Kevin. You had your bar mitzvah in this very room. You're a proud Jew, aren't you? Right. Tell your fiance, this is who you are. This is your wedding. Right. Why can't you just have the ceremony the way you want it? Okay. With a chuppah? Yeah. With kosher food? And the party the way your fiance wants it? Then there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to work out. It was good to talk to the rabbi. It was, uh, it helped give me some clarity. I know what I want now. I'm confident. I think that Kevin is going to get uh, completely attacked by these women. He will not be able to stand up against them. This is actually a wonderful primer uh, to what being married is going to be like. Gina will now unveil the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will be the assistant. Hi, good to see you, come on in. And little do they know that their mothers will be watching and hearing everything they say from a secret hiding place. Time for Kevin to man up. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Hard thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be tough. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yes. Let's do it. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my god. I love it. Yellow, gray, fun, spunky. She's right. Aggie's vision, I knew it, is a glitzy modern Hollywood wedding. Perfect. Right. The wedding will take place in a hip warehouse. She wants a DJ, a late party. Guests will arrive on the red carpet. All of the guests will have their picture taken by paparazzi. The colors, deep silvers, golds, lots and lots of liquor. Aggie does not want kosher food at this wedding. The food has to be kosher, and he understands it. But it's not that, that really traditional, oh, traditional Who said scent. anything about traditional? All right, that's it. The wedding dress. Sexy, revealing. Perfect. Can I, can I just? Do you mind? Just two seconds. So this thing, I'm not loving this thing. I think if this was perfect, it would have our pictures like juxtaposed. That would be just perfect. Because really, I mean, this is not us. I mean, we're, we're much cuter than this. Yes. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's step back and let me show you presentation number two. Okay. okay let's do that. Uh... Whoa. Ouch. That's more like it. Cornucopia of disaster. Shirley Ann's vision is a Jewish synagogue brunch wedding. Oh my God. Since this is a brunch, coffee and tea will be served. There will be wine on the tables. There will be all kosher food at this wedding. No wedding cake? No wedding cake. I have never seen that. A wedding Why without a cake. Why would you need a cake? Wait, what's the importance of a cake? The wedding is the important. It's symbolic. There will be live classical music at this wedding. Yeah. We're going to be dancing to a violin, a harp, and a clarinet. It's going to be elegant. Observing the traditional elements of the Jewish wedding, Kevin, you would be breaking the glass at the end of the ceremony. Mazel tov. The dress. Something lace, traditional, and long sleeve. Great. So I can sweat and not look good at the same time. I think it works. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, it does No, it doesn't work. work. Sandra, be honest. What do you love about this presentation? Eh. That's my answer. This is kosher. Your mom's vision isn't. 
and at least my mom's no. vision has style no. and grace Maybe and creativity. It and it's kosher. It works. Take a few minutes. I'll be back to get your decision. Good luck. Shirley Ann and Aggie are cut off while Kevin and Sandra decide who will be the wedding winner. This is amazing. This is creative. No, look. And this is who died. No. My mom worked really hard on this. I get that, but why should we go with it? Because your mom said you know to go with it? You know what the bottom line is? It's kosher. One bottle of wine per table. That means everybody gets a little sippy cup? Look at this, look at this vision. It looks look, like look. a lot of fun, but there's no tradition. There's nothing Jewish about it. You're going to alienate, like, half of your family. This is hedonism at its best. Hedonism? Yeah. I'm in love with this. this is, it's us. It's got to be kosher. You have to think about us, because at the end of the day, our parents are not sleeping in our bed. I'm not going to disappoint my mom. Have you made your decision? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We are going with, don't tell me, tell your moms. <gasps> Whoa. Hi. Oh, God. Your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Great. You're in trouble. Tell your moms who you've decided on. Kevin, I think you should um, break the news to the moms. Uh, I, I can't do it. I okay, I'll do it. So, this was a really hard decision. But we came to the conclusion that we are gonna go with... You, mumsies. All right! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm not gonna be sorry. I love you. Oh, love you. If Shirley Ann would have won, it would have been the most boring wedding in history. I tried for you. He did try. You did a fantastic yeah. job. We love you very much. I yeah, we do. Very hard. My vision was elegant. Consolation, oh, hon. Thank, thank you. Thank you. This is a Hollywood premiere production. It is not a wedding. They may as well be married in a civil ceremony. I'm going to push to include many of the elements of my vision. We weren't rejecting the fact that it was Jewish. We were rejecting the fact that it was a brunch. Yours smelled the best. And it know. looks the best. Look at these treats. I wouldn't be surprised if we show up at our wedding and we see Shirley Ann's vision in place of my mom's vision. This woman is relentless. Your mom won, but the war's not over. Congratulations, Aggie. Thank you very much. Shirley Ann, you're going to be Aggie's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull her vision together. We've got one week to plan this yes. wedding. Let's get to work. All right. Shirley Ann is not willing to bend on anything. We really need to get her on board and let her know that she cannot push her vision onto Aggie's side. We've got to make it smashing. We've got to make it terrific and wonderful. My vision was the right vision. Good luck. With less than a week till they walk down the aisle, it's time to embark on Sandra's largest concern of the day the dress. She's given full control over to Aggie. Whatever dress Aggie chooses, Sandra will be wearing that on her wedding day. Take a look at this gorgeous dress with Aggie, all this handy work. Th these dresses are not right. Oh, come on. Why are we look even at here? This. Gorgeous piece. Not and the Sandra right dress. would look so gorgeous with a dress with long sleeves and a high neck and lace, you know, peau de soie. I need you to hold it. They're glitzy. There's Beautiful. No Maybe I can give you enough dresses to cover up your face. Oh. I feel really uncomfortable with Aggie being so domineering and pushy. Oh, oh my her. God. I think this is going to look beautiful. Aggie. This is really, really nice. These are awful. And that's it. Let her try it on. It's going to look good on her. You'll see. I was getting really aggravated. Just come with I me. I didn't even want to be your assistant. I wish I could see myself because I probably look so hot. Every bride gets to see their dress before the day, so I'm a little bit uh, worried. Gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? No. Oh, it's not the right dress. No? It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect on you. It's embarrassing. She's exposed. Please. She needs to be covered. They could fix it by custom making the top. You don't need any cover up. Can you come over here for a minute? Is it possible that you could custom design the top? We might be able to do like a, a custom neckline for her. Yes. And, and well, so. excuse me, it doesn't matter. 
First of all, you're my assistant. Sandra does not need to be covered up. Please take Sandra and try on the next okay. dress. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Stunning, stunning. You look absolutely gorgeous. This is so beautiful. You look absolutely stunning. Thanks, Marie. You are so beautiful. You get me so emotional. She's falling out. This is a big mistake. Don't even go there. It has to be adjusted, but I think this is the one Sandra. Adjust it I would, so that it I would comes vote up for to this. the neck. No, not closing it up. This has to be adjusted, but the wedding is in six days. Can it be done? That's cutting it really close. Um, you know, it can't be done here, but it could be sent to New York. It would be possible. The dress not being here for repair or, or adjustment, it's very, very difficult because anything can go wrong. Do me a favor and ask much. when you're on the phone if they can do long sleeves and cover You're up. not running the show. This is the dress. This is what's going to happen. Aggie keeps shutting me down. I'm not happy. So far, Aggie's vision for the wedding has Shirley Ann. Red carpet. I love this. Seeing red. This is what exactly we needed. What Take do you need look. this Take for? Look. What? What's it for? It's the red carpet for outside. You're talking about a wedding. It's going to be fantastic. You can have the people coming out of the limousine, and they step on it, and they feel like a million dollars with Aggie. the paparazzi right there. This is a wedding. This is not a theater premiere. This, this doesn't make it a premiere. It makes it a wedding. It should be sophisticated. It should be elegant. This is elegant. What is it not elegant? This a red carpet splashy. with a beautiful, this is oh, glitzy. special. It, it, it's not glitzy. a wedding. What's wrong with glitzy? Red carpets, velvet ropes. Give me a break. It's not necessary. Become a this paparazzi. See, I, let I'm me see. not a paparazzi. Why not? Aggie. She's so negative. Aggie, I don't get it. It's getting a little more and more frustrating. Walk I'm it not coming in here. The focus should be on the needs of the wedding itself. A holy matrimony, the invitations, buying shoes for the grandchildren, the important things. Help me to grab it. Oh, my God. Who okay. needs this? Ugh. First, I'm carrying heavy dresses, and now a heavy carpet. This is not supposed to be my role. This is so heavy. I know. Oh, come on, come You're on. walking too fast. Just put it in here. <sighs> All right. This is not necessary. Done. The next thing is the venue. Hopefully, synagogue pushing Shirley Ann will approve. What is this place? Where are we? We're supposed to be looking at a venue for a wedding. This is a venue for the wedding. No, 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 no. You I can't can... believe you can't even come in it's and take a, a look synagogue. at it. It's not a synagogue. You have to have a nice Jewish wedding in a nice synagogue. Just come with me and car. just take a you look. You go in. I'll be in the car. OK, see you later. I'm feeling very frustrated. This is not a birthday party. She doesn't seem to have room to understand what's important to me. At this point, I don't know what to do with her. Hmm. Wow, this is fabulous. Wow. I love it. Fabulous. All I know right now that this is the perfect venue. This is it. This is perfect. Aggie, I came in to tell you, if you are determined to have the wedding here, then I'm out. There's no way I'm going to have a wedding in a warehouse. It should be in a synagogue. Take a look no at it. You don't even way. look at I'm the place. Be, I'm not being part of a wedding. This wedding. is your son's wedding. How can exactly. you be not part of it? Exactly. It and should be anything at you want. least a synagogue. Always going your way. It's a tradition, tradition, tradition. I'm done. Stop being so stubborn. The wedding has to take place in six states. We don't have the time for argument, especially when we know it's the right place, when I know it's the right place. I feel totally left out, rejected. I meant what I said to Aggie, <sighs> that if things don't change, then I'm not going to be a part of this wedding. I will not come to this wedding. I don't know where to go from here. I just don't know. I just absolutely don't know. I need Gina. With only two days before the wedding, it's time for Gina to attempt to salvage the mother's relationship. They're not getting along at all. Something has to be done. Thanks for meeting me here. Hi, Gina. Okay. How's it going? Uh, it's going. It's just not Thanks. happening. Shirley Ann is blocking my way, and, and she has so much negative energy, and I only have two days. Right. It just doesn't look like the wedding is going to happen at all. It's not OK that you guys aren't talking. It's not OK that you guys aren't working together. We need to do this, or this wedding isn't going to happen. 
Aggie, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to give Shirley Ann a few things that were in her vision. But that's not what the kids wanted. Aggie, it's the only way that you two are going to move forward. First, we will not change the venue, but the children will marry under a chuppah. That, that would make a huge difference. It's traditional, it's Jewish, and it'll work. We will give you the chuppah. Having the wedding canopy is absolutely paramount. Thank you. The other is Shirley Ann. You will now be in charge of the menu. What? The groom's side won't come to the wedding if it's not kosher food. So we have to make this work. I wanted you to meet me here just to taste the food. Keep an open I, mind. I think you're going to like it. Do this for the kids, moms. Okay? Happy, happy, happy. And try. Come on. Oh, let's roll. It looks so nice. Oh my, it smells so good. It does. Aggie has to have the venue. It's important for her vision. But we can make the venue Shirley Ann friendly. These are the best courses, the best kosher food options that they have right. to choose a menu. Okay. Let's start with the salad course. Okay. Butternut squash pecan salad. Or we have the fennel salad here. <laughs> so dig in, That's let's amazing. see. Amazing. Aggie cut. No, no. Cut. You, 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 have you it. like it. It's okay. You have it. You wouldn't know it's kosher. Whatever. You what? Mmm. Out of the swirl. Okay. I definitely choose the pecan butternut. It is so good. All right. Entrees. We have the herb crusted chicken. Oh, right. Or the chicken roulade. Mmm. To die for. I think I'll go with the herb crusted chicken. Come, come. You have to come. Come, no, please. Come. No. You have I, to I, come. I'm not interested. Thanks. Thanks. Just. Tasty shoes or whatever. Dessert. We have caramel pecan tart. Right. Or a fruit flan. Wow. Amazing. Mmm. The shudders and the taste, I have to tell you, it's like being in heaven. Really, it's good. So we have a menu. We're good to go. Okay. We will have the butternut squash pecan salad. Wonderful. The herb crusted chicken. Absolutely. And the pecan tart. Delightful. All kosher. Thank you, Gina, so much for making the arrangements. You're the greatest. You're the best. Thank you so much. It's a kosher hug. I'm still not happy about the venue, the warehouse. I really feel a synagogue would have been the best venue. However, I'm willing to go along with this. I'm frustrated because I think Gina is siding with Shirley Ann. Looks like we're going kosher food. It looks like we're getting a chuppah at the warehouse. I care about this wedding. I can't have it fail for Sandra. OK, girls, let's get this wedding going. Let's get this wedding going for sure. We have a menu. We have a venue. We have so much more to do. If they're not on the same page, we're going to have a very unhappy bride and groom. With stress levels through the roof and the clock running out, Kevin and Sandra get a visit from Gina. They don't really know what's going on, so I think that they're starting to get really nervous. How are you guys feeling? Totally stressed out. Not good. Not good. Not good? I'm, I'm totally regretting doing this. We don't know what's going on. We heard our mothers are fighting. We don't know anything. Like, it would be nice if you can just tell us, at least tell us, like, a little bit. Like, I don't have a wedding dress. I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah. the dress. Your brother has the dress. The dress is coming from New York. So he is bringing it here the morning of the wedding. And I know it's two days before the wedding, and, you know. And that's why I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's scary. Because it's, it's like, we don't know. If to not have gonna, any control over it. Yeah, it's yeah, going to, it's, it's going to, it might good. blow up in our faces. And we but have 200, not, 250 people coming. More than that now. More, more than, than that. that. More, three, close to 300. You know, this isn't a joke. This is our lives. I, I, it's stressful. Yeah. I mean, you guys signed on to this and you've lost all control of your wedding. And I get that, Yeah. but I'm working for you. It's two days before the wedding. You should be relaxing, just enjoy each other. This wedding will be flawless. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. Trust me, guys. While the moms scramble to get the wedding planned, Gina sends Sandra for some much needed R&R before the wedding rehearsal. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, I'm so in heaven right now. It feels so great. I'd like to be like this every day. Mom? Yes, yes, honey. What's happening? I'm very sick, sweetheart. I can't make it tonight for the rehearsal. What am I supposed to do now? I, I don't know what you can do about this. I may not make it to the wedding tour. <sighs> I'm just, like, praying and hoping that she's going to be there tomorrow, because how am I going to have a wedding without my mom? I never imagined I would be this stressed out at this point. If you're not there tomorrow, we are going to walk in to 
a nightmare. Whether Aggie is sick or just doesn't want to deal with Shirley Ann getting her way, Kevin has no idea what's about to happen. Being the gentleman I am, I brought Sandra some, some sweets, some snacks. Hold hey, on sweetie. a sec. Hold on. Let me, let me call you back, OK? I just walked into uh, a landmine. What's the problem? My mom is sick. What? Now your mom has to take over. And if your mom changes my mom's vision, you are going to have one unhappy bride on your hands. And really? I don't think you want that. What are you going to do You're about it? joking me, I'm right? not going to have your mom start taking over. If your mom fails... My mom's going to fail. Really? Put that into writing. What the hell? My mom, my mom's going to step in like, like we need her to. She's good at that. I don't think you realize the, the, the total problem here that I'm having. I am so stressed out at this point. It's the day before the wedding. What can uh -huh. my mom... Let me talk. It's the day before the wedding. What can my mom do? It's already emotion. This wedding is turning into a total disaster. You call your mom up now, and you tell her to follow my mom's vision. And if she doesn't, Kevin, it's on you. Sandra's not happy. I'm stressed out because I'm in the middle. I don't want to do this anymore. Kevin is totally driving me crazy. Don't even kiss me. If Shirley Ann takes control, I promise you she will not support my mom's vision. It will go completely haywire. This was supposed to be Aggie's time to shine. And she called me. She sounds sick and devastated. So I really want to make sure that we keep on track. And if she does show up tomorrow, that we deliver exactly what she wanted. With time not on her side, Gina builds the hoopa and works her magic to make sure Kevin and Sandra's big day is not destroyed. This looks better. I think we should even lose one chair. But her biggest challenge has yet to arrive. Shirley Ann. Hi, Gina. It's good to see you again. How are you? You know what? I have to say, uh, I really could not visualize a warehouse, but this is amazing. This is really very special. We have the hoopa started. Right? It's a nice start, right? Yes, abs yeah? absolutely. Where's Aggie? What Kim, happened? I'll be right with you. Yeah. <gasps> Shirley Ann, Aggie is sick. At this point, she doesn't even know if she's coming to the wedding. <gasps> that would be terrible. Shirley Ann, I need you to step in and carry out Aggie's vision. But Aggie did win. So even though she's sick, yeah. I really, really need you to keep in mind that it is yeah. still her vision. We have no time. We have one day. Right. Could you carry this out? I'm going to stay with you. I need right. you to carry out her vision. Aggie's vision, sure. Sure, I can do that. It's for the kids. Yes. All right. All right, you're in charge. OK. So All right. Can we take a look at the uh, chuppah? You go do that. All right. All right. Shirley Ann, yes. remember Aggie's vision. OK, I got okay. it. Aggie's vision. I'm trying to empower Shirley Ann at this point because we could use her help. But if Aggie and Sandra show up tomorrow and it's not exactly the vision that they wanted carried out, we're going to have a disaster. As Shirley Ann incorporates traditional Jewish prayer benchers on the tables and Kaddish goblets that signify joy and abundance, Gina is having second thoughts. Oh, God. I think I may have just created a monster. Hey, girls. This is going straight across? Yeah, that's fine. While Gina continues to prep the wedding venue, the rehearsal dinner is underway. And with Aggie still under the weather, Sandra steps in for some damage control. Um, I just want to make sure that you're, you're following in my mom's vision. It's going to be magical. It's going to be beautiful. You'll see. I'm getting nervous. I hope so. It had better be my mom's vision tomorrow. I will be severely disappointed if I don't see my mom's vision. Just hours before the wedding, all our couple can do now is put on a brave face. So we would really like to thank everyone for coming. And we are going to have an amazing, amazing time tomorrow. There are a lot of surprises and secrets that I don't even know about. And thanks to Kevin, because without Kevin, we all wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To everybody, thank you. Thank you. On the outside, I'm smiling, like everything is great, everything's fantastic. And on the inside, everything is falling apart. My dress may not come tomorrow. My mom is sick, she may not come. Shirley Ann may destroy our vision. And I'm totally, totally, utterly freaking out. It's the big day for Sandra and Kevin, but Sandra is not a happy camper. My mom is not even here, she's still sick. My dress is in New York, because it got fitted there. And my brother's supposed to be bringing it up, and He's two hours late. And you don't have any backup dress or something no. to use. Oh my god, a disaster. I just don't even know what's gonna happen. I haven't seen the venue. I don't know what Shirley Ann's gonna pull out of a hat. 
I hope it's gonna be like my mom's vision. Oh my God, you make me so nervous, I'm gonna have a mini stroke. This is not the way my day should be. I didn't imagine this to come to this point. And I'm really honestly getting uh, at the point where I'm gonna explode. With just an hour before the wedding, Mom! Oh, Aggie arrives at Sandra's to deliver some news. Are you feeling better? I don't really feel good, but I wouldn't miss this. Mm. I, I had to be here, I had to be here. Is the dress here? Mom, where is my dress? Well, Gabby has the dress. Gabby's Mom, bringing it. I'm so happy that you're here, but I need my dress now. Did you get no, it? No, I didn't. Gabby's not oh here Oh, my yet. God. I know he'll be here. Somebody's he's here. coming. He's Who's coming. Says... I'm sure he's coming. Oh, he's here. Oh, my yeah. God. All right. All right. <laughs> I was, like, so happy when I saw him running down the driveway. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. Right, let's run. Let's run. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm so happy. All right. I want to see it. I know. I know. I understand. It looks really good, actually. You ready? Yep. Relax. Hold on. Wait. <sighs> Open them. Oh my god. It looks good, right? Oh god, All right. It's great. Oh, I love it. I really feel like a princess. Oh, I'm Thanks, so Mom, glad. Please. It's amazing. I love I'm it. So I love pleased. it. I'm so pleased. Now that's a dress. Sandra is impressed with Aggie's choice of dress. Right, sweetie. Now, hopefully, Aggie's impressed with Shirley Ann's touches to the venue. For me to take over and do everything, my goodness, I mean, the little books on the table and the petals, I, I, it's just been amazing. This is beautiful, just perfect, wonderful. The fact that Aggie is sick, she just totally stepped in and she's been motoring through it. The Hollywood theme, it's getting there. Shirley Ann is respecting Aggie. She understands that this is her vision, but there are definitely parts of Shirley Ann that I'm seeing. Well, listen, yeah. let me take this over, okay. and you get ready for the ceremony. All right. OK? Oh, thank you. You look thank beautiful. You. Oh, thank All you. All right, get going. Yeah, let's put this on this right here. We just need two more. We've still got a ton to do. It's really all systems go. Aggie arrives at the venue all smiles, feeling a lot better, and is excited to see what Shirley Ann's done. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, we have a star! Look at this! Wow, this is fabulous. Aggie, how are you feeling? Feeling a little better. Uh, yeah, and how do you like yeah, everything? Amazing. So far, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love the I star. I look gorgeous. Look at your hair. Thank oh my you. goodness. With no time to lose, guests start filtering in and are greeted by the paparazzi. With almost 300 guests in their seats, Gina takes one last look around and decides everything is good to go. Bring on our Hollywood duo. I'm ready. As the moment approaches. Don't, don't draw blood. Shirley Ann has one last traditional surprise. I found for you a kittle, a, a white robe to wear. An item that represents holiness, purity, and is worn at all religious events. You think that you're comfortable wearing it for the ceremony? Sure. Oh, this is fabulous. Kevin, Kevin, come on, sweetie. Come. Nice one. Bye, Dolly. Mwah. No, not, not for right now. Traditional or not, it's time for the wedding. There's Kevin with his parents. And there's Shirley Ann putting on Kevin's kittle. But there's no sign of Sandra since she stormed off. Our bride has finally arrived and we couldn't have a more relieved groom. You made it, under the canopy. <laughs> be thou my wife according to the law of Moses and Israel. I faithfully promise that I will be a true husband unto you. I will honor and cherish you, protect and support you, and provide all that is necessary for your due sustenance even as it becomes a Jewish husband to do. The bride will now march around the groom seven times, accompanied by the mothers. Symbolic 
of holiness. Behold, you are consecrated to me with this ring according to the law of Moshe and Israel. I love you. Sandra and Kevin, who have now entered into the holy covenant of marriage, that it be founded upon love, understanding, mutual helpfulness and respect. And they're hitched. Being married feels amazing. I'm still taking it in. When I saw Sandra walking down the aisle, I got uh, very emotional. And I'm lucky to have you. I am. And I love you. Thank you. When Sandra saw Kevin put on the Jewish robe, the Kittle, she realized how much tradition really meant to his family. So out of respect, she covered her shoulder. With a jacket that Aggie had made for her at the same time as the dress. With the ceremony a success, all that's left is for Aggie to see the venue. Hi, what Aggie. did you do? What Aggie, did you do? I tried to follow your vision. It is gorgeous. Okay. I love I love the red carpet, I love the paparazzi, I love the setup. My mom came through, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was so, totally surprised at what Shirley Ann did. I thought she did a great job, and I totally felt my mom's vision was interplayed in it. It was fun. Hollywood, was Hollywood baby. <laughs> Shirley Ann squeezed in a few of her ideas, like the chuppah and the religious ceremony, but that's OK. I loved it. I loved everything about it. We would, first of all, really, really like to thank our moms. They've done an amazing job for us. Thank you, moms. Thank you, momsies. Let's just celebrate. I'm feeling so gratified and relieved and happy. Everything finally came together. And Aggie loved it. I made the right choice putting Shirley Ann in charge. In the end, she totally delivered. She helped me pull together this wedding, and the bride and groom are in there dancing, having a ball. It's a party. It's Hollywood. It's the best wedding. <laughs> the food turned out wonderful, and everybody's dancing and having a great time. I am so proud of our moms. I think yeah. we're both so proud of our moms. They did an amazing job. Hey. We have one very conservative Jewish family and one less traditional family. And I feel like in the end, they both came together and everyone is finally one family. I like Aggie. I think our future is going to be great together. I don't have any doubts. Two different ways of life it is, brought together. This is to a good beginning. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs>